Hello, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Now, I've been trying to record this for literally weeks. I've had all sorts of problems and all sorts of issues, and finally, finally, we can start to play properly. Once it loads. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Look at all of the greenery. Oh, so much grass. Look at the grass. Because this is this is what you came for when you when you wanted quality scrap mechanics content. It's it's to just look at the grass. Look at the oh, look at the flower, pretty flower. Anyway, let's get on to the bit you actually want to see, which is things that I've made. So we've got my very first proper buggy. I've got the ones that I'm not that happy with, which is Series Buggy One. And so I thought, hmm, that works, but it's not quite there. It's missing something. And it's missing a rocket. So I made it slightly wider, and I just stuck a rocket on the back. And it's actually pretty fun. So very, very, very simple operation on this one. Not particularly complicated. Um, uh, and it skids about a little bit, um, but I can't really help that. Um, so we're going to take this out for a little spin just to show you quite how crazy it is. And then we're gonna fire the rocket, which is of course at maximum thrust because is there another setting for a rocket? Let's be sensible now. Launch. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is much more fun. This is usually the thing that I use to get around the level. So if, say if I want to go to the launch platform, I'll use this rather than running or anything else. But what I really, really, really want to do is um, make something that is a bit more like a flying vehicle so I can properly navigate around the place. And my first thought into doing something like that was to make a rocket ship. And that looks really cool, but it doesn't work very well. Um, and my next thought was, oh, I'll make something that's like a, a, a jetpack, like a, a hover chair, which is what this is called. It's called hover chair. Um, but as you can see, as I will show you, it's it's all oh, it's it's not that stable. It's not that stable. And it's even less stable when I try and fly it. So it's I've made a really good chair that spins around really fast, and that's about it. So that's a that's a, that's something to fix for another day. What I'm going to show you next, though, is something that though isn't the greatest thing. I like it. I think it's fun and that's all that really matters. Now, I've got a young son. He's not that young. He's eight years old and he loves scrap mechanics. In fact, without him, I would never have even known that scrap mechanics existed. So, I have a very big thank you to... Oh, God, I've fallen over. Oh, no, got to write it, got to write it. One minute, 37 seconds later. So, Stephen... Thank you so much for introducing me to Scrap Mechanic. There will be a lot more of this content coming out um, because I, I've enjoyed making it thoroughly. It's been so much fun. This whole episode is dedicated to Stephen because without him, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be making quality content like I am now where I'm just now just fiddling almost aimlessly with settings onto my suspension. That's even worse than it was. Back in a minute. Four to six weeks later. There we go, that's a bit more like it. I'm actually going to save that before I wreck it any further. Now Stevie asked me um, to make a hoverboard. I did try and find the mods and specifics that he asked me about. And I know that they exist, but for some reason I just couldn't get them to work in time. So I thought, right, I'll get rid of all of the mods that I've got installed. Um, and I will just will try and build something that's like the hoverboard he asked me to make um, in here as much as possible. And although this isn't a hoverboard as such, he did ask for a transforming hoverboard specifically. And this has a rather neat trick, which I will show you very shortly. Working? Actually, this is a perfect opportunity to show how well it works. There we go. So I'm, I did that maybe a couple of times more than I normally would, but it's just to right myself while I'm still in the vehicle. Um, so if I just press switch number one, it just moves all those down into a downward position. Um, and then if I move them around again, I'm now upside down. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Um, so the other way that you can write yourself in this, which I do find rather more entertaining, is just to fire the thrusters like so. 
Whee! Crash. There we go. All the way up right again. This is the toilet of doom um, and you have to say it that way you can't you can't just say it's the toilet of doom no it's got to be toilet of doom um this is one of the funniest things i've ever made and it's just it's just four rockets and a button but it does this it just it just breaks him look at his face like look at look at that chubby cheeky face just after I press the button. You'll only see it for a split second, but it's hilarious. He's terrified, look! <laughs> look at his arms vibrating. Ooh, I'm so scared, please don't do that again. Well, I'm not. What I am gonna do though, is show you my next thought after that. So this is Toilet of Doom 2, but as the original insists that we must call it Toilet of Doom, this is also Toilet of Doom 2. Um, and you've got to say the two normally. It's so important. Otherwise, it's not nearly as funny sounding. Now, it's very similar. In fact, the top is exactly the same as Toilet of Doom. Um, but the bottom, as you can see, now has four rockets. And all of these rockets are at maximum thrust. I'm going to show you all of them. I won't bore you with that. Um, but the reason that I, I thought this can't work was because of how quickly it goes up. And it does go up, it really does fly, but it goes straight up. No directions, no anything else, and it spins at the same time. Should we see how far the ground disappears? Now that donk you just heard was as hitting the world map limit. That's the highest point in the map that you can actually go. And as you can see now, we're falling slower than we first flew up. It's just, it's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. The only thing that's really left for me to do is to find a little bit of, a, a little, another clearing. I'm just here will be fine and show you Stephen's truck. Oh come on come on come on no Okay we'll we'll write it we'll write it it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine Come on 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 Yes This is a celebration of all that's crazy in this game and all that's fantastic about you buddy Here we go we're gonna just take this straight off the cliff and you're you yeah you're you're exactly right we're going to fire the rockets and it's going to fly really badly because it's not meant for flight. But there we are. One thing I did want to point out is that this, this, your truck, Stephen, the truck that bears your name, has two engines. So it's got one engine doing the uh, right hand side of the car and then it's got another engine doing the left hand side of the car. Why? Why not? Um, that's one of the things I love about this game is that. If you can think it, you can kind of build it. Um, and I can't wait for next episode where I'm going to build a tank. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you really like the content, if you happen to be a randomer and going, huh, this guy seems to be doing things on Scrap Mechanic that I've seen everywhere else before and done even worse. Then please subscribe. Um, but otherwise, um, this is PWG signing off.